Eight teams comprised of some of the best high school basketball players from around the globe are in Washington, D.C. this weekend for the 2013 Nike Global Challenge at Trinity Washington University. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. It's Dan Karp of the Chronicle Sports Section and Danny Nolan of Duke Student Broadcasting. Today, first day of competition, there was no Julia Okafer, there is no Justice Winslow, but there are plenty of other recruits that played pretty well today. And Danny, you have to start with Tyus Jones, the top recruit at the tournament this weekend. He's the number three overall recruit in the class of 2014, according to ESPN.com. And he showed exactly why today, leading his USA Midwest team to a 99-55 victory against Brazil. And Tyus took plenty of time to fill up the stat sheet along the way. Six points, six rebounds, five assists, and four steals in just 20 minutes of action, leading his team to a blowout victory. One of the big storylines of the 2014 recruiting class, the Tyus Jones and Julia Okafor, the number one recruit, are going to play together in college. We caught up with Tyus Jones after his first win to discuss why. It really started out at USA. Um, you know, we just had a good bond on the court and then, um, you know, got a, a great bond off the court as well. We became, you know, great friends. Um, and I think that's kind of where, you know, it hit that we wanted to try to um, go to the next level and, and do the same thing. Tyus Jones, we do know, does hold a scholarship offer from Duke for the class of 2014. Whether or not he'll accept that offer, we don't yet know. Mm -hmm. But there is one player here at the Nike Global Challenge who we know is going to be joining the Blue Devils in 2014, and that is Jacksonville, Florida guard Grayson Allen. Right, Grayson Allen had a fantastic day today. 7-10 shooting, 19 points in a 103-87 victory over Pan-Africa today. He really ran the floor well today, Dan. He shot well from three-point range. He slammed it home. We've seen five or six dunks over the time that we've been here thus far at the university. But he also is really excited to play at Duke. It's over a year away, but that doesn't mean he's not excited to play in front of those Cameron Crazies. Playing in Cameron Indoor and playing in front of the Cameron Crazies. Um, you know, I've never been to a game, only seen it on TV. Um, but what, from, what, from what I've seen on TV, it, it's crazy. And um, you know, hopefully I'll catch a game and see what it's like. So it's always fun to hear from people that are about to go to Duke and be excited to play in front of those Cameron Crazies. But there's still a lot of basketball left to be played here. Absolutely, Danny. We're through one day of pool play now. Six games were played today. Six more to be played tomorrow before the championship rounds on Saturday. Hear what the standings look like after one day of pool play. And be sure to keep up with us at the Blue Zone, the Chronicle Sports blog, for daily updates live from the event and recap videos at the end of each day of action. Excellent. So for Dan Karp of the Chronicle, I'm Danny Nolan of Duke Student Broadcasting. We'll see you guys tomorrow.